one of the core careers of the mining resource industry. Today, we're gonna meet a geologist. Liz, I'm Brian. Hi. Hi, Brian, nice to meet you. A geologist is someone who studies the earth and tries to understand the earth, whether it be earthquakes, natural hazards, mineral deposits, groundwater, geothermal energy, volcanoes. I am an exploration geologist who looks at rocks to find mineral deposits. There are many geologists who are solely field geologists and spend their time in the field all year long. You might be out there in the bush just mapping, looking for outcrop, which is just rock coming to the surface, trying to find it. And as a geologist, it's my job then to identify it, give it a rock name, and then somebody else will cut it and we'll send half of it to a lab that will then tell us exactly what's in it. So Liz, we're down here on the shoreline. There's all kinds of different rocks here. I mean, how can you tell what you're looking at right away? Well, I found this rock here, mm -hmm. and you can see on the surface it's a little bit rusty. So some of the minerals on the inside seeping on the way out and showing you what could be Right, the rustiness on the surface tells me that there's metal inside this rock, iron. Okay. As a geologist, one of our greatest skills is the power of observation. It's very important to look at an outcrop but then also look at it on the hand sample scale and then on the microscopic scale and on the chemical scale and pay attention to all those little details. But equally important is to be the big picture thinker and coming up with the big ideas. First, I notice that these rocks are out of place. It's not bedrock. These rocks have been transported from somewhere else, okay. which is a very important observation because if I can identify this rock and maybe I'll find gold in this rock, but that doesn't mean that there's more gold around this rock. It means that there's gold wherever this rock came from. When you work in the field, you're typically working maybe a 10 to 12 hour a day, seven days a week. Um, but you're also on call because the program is operating 24 hours a day. But the benefit of working so hard and working those long hours is that you then get maybe two weeks vacation at the end of your four week shift. A typical day in the office is much more traditional, nine to five, Monday through Friday. Much of the work that a geologist would do in the office prior to a field season is come up with a plan. We're looking at data all the time and we're looking at what might be the most prospective ground that we maybe want to go stake. And so the geologist is instrumental in deciding what is a good opportunity. Keeping track of data is very important as a geologist. Your results are only as good as your data. And if you can't trust your data, if you can't trust that it's organized and filed properly, then you're eventually going to make a mistake and it can be very costly. So you're taking everything into consideration. I mean, you're looking at different rock types, you're looking at fault lines, you're looking at past stakes. Exactly. This is what we do in the office before we go into the field. Um, we have some of our field data from last year, and before we go there again next year, we're looking at everything we can find. So we're looking at government data, geological data, geophysical data, we're looking at structural data, we're also looking at neighboring properties and seeing what they have found, and using all of that together to help us explore next summer. Creativity and creative thinking is really important to being a successful geologist. It's a little bit of science and a little bit of art, and you put the two together. Typically, a university student would major in geology and end up with a Bachelor of Science in Geology. Then you can go on and specialize and do a master's degree or PhD, and go on to do postdoctorates and maybe do further research or become a professor. Many geologists go on to become part of the management team, often become vice presidents who deal with both finding the deposits and deciding where to spend the money, but also in maybe managing the company and promoting the company and telling the story to investors and to the public. A young geologist or new graduate will typically make maybe between fifty and 100000 a year. It depends a lot on, on the markets, the supply and demand of the industry. We're in a good time right now where, where a lot of geologists are retiring, so there's a lot of opportunities for young geologists right now. They're in, in demand. But the great part about geology is that you can get a really good geology job as a student. So by the time you graduate, you probably have a pretty good idea of what you want to do and you might be offered a job before graduation. I've been working as a geologist for a few years and I can say that the more I know, the more I don't know. Every day there's something new to learn and one of the great opportunities of being a geologist is that we are constantly learning about new deposits, new technologies, new ways to explore. My advice to a young geologist or someone who thinks they may be interested in geology is to get out and look at rocks. Most of the highways in BC have geological guides that are associated with them, so you can stop at mile marker 200 on the way to the campsite and check out a geological formation and learn something about that. The most rewarding part of my job as an exploration geologist is being able to come up with ideas, have people trust those ideas, and give me the opportunity to go test those ideas. And I get to have fun trying. <laughs> 
Well, Liz, thank you very much for showing me around your job. Thank you, Brian. Take care, okay? You too. Once again, I'm Brian for Career Trek, reminding you that this career could be yours. See you next time.